Imagine that you burn down a house just because there is a flying cockroach in your room. But will you also think it is ridiculous when a person took chemotherapy, frying down one's own body trying to kill tumor cells? Welcome to my 3 minute thesis entitled A Sugar Coated Life. I am ripping and I will show you how tumor cells work and how can a chemist do to make our immune system kill cancer by itself without burning down the whole building. People love sugars because it is sweet and it makes you happy. So does our cell. Actually, if you could shrink yourself down to a little airplane and fly right along the surface of your cell, you might see there are many different kinds of sugar complex standing like trees or weeping willows swaying in the winds and moving with the waves. Imagine that the sugar coating on our cells is like the sugar coating on a peanut M&M that somehow made the candy ball stronger and tougher and also it provides a ball-shaped protective coat to the chocolate and the peanut inside. In fact, the sugar coating on our cells also tells our immune system that those are the good ones. But who else does love sugars? The tumor cells. A tumor cell is a sneaky little bad guy. In order to avoid being arrested by our immune system, tumor cells will put on the sugar as a Halloween costume to disguise as one of our normal cells. They even have this purple diamond shaped sugar that puts immune cells to sleep. They are like, hey, this cell is alright, nothing to see here, move along look somewhere else. As Sun Tzu said, to defeat your enemy, you have to know your enemy. And in the case of your immune system, that means being able to identify the invaders by recognizing their costume. Therefore, the scientists have given a great effort to separate the sugar from the colon cancer cell. After structure identification and determination, we now know the sugar that grows on the cancer cell surface looks like this. As a synthetic chemist, my research goal is to find a method to create this sugar chain in an efficient way. Besides attaching the colorful sugar cube one by one, which is very tedious and time consuming, we prefer to put all ingredients in one pot in order to simplify the procedure. In one pot synthesis, we no need to purify the intermediate after attaching a sugar cube each time. But the challenging part is, you need to assure the sequence of your ingredients is in the desired order. Once the sugar chain has been made, we will install an alarm, which is a carrying protein in the real case, to remind our immune cells that whoever wearing this creepy costume is the bad guy. Then, when an immune cell finds those signs, the cell gets activated and kills those disguised tumors. Since we now understand how those sugars mesmerize the immune system, we can create and synthesize new medicines to wake up those immune cells, tell them, Remember the sugars, eat the cell, and have a delicious snack on cancer. And now we no longer need to burn down the house just because of one cockroach.